Good evening and welcome to the project information meeting for the East Colonial Drive or State Road 50 widening project. This project begins east of Avalon Park Boulevard or Pilgrim Street and continues to east of Chuyahoda Road, County Road 419 or Columbia School Road. Todd Alexander is the Florida Department of Transportation's project manager. Matthew Gibbs is the project manager for Comprehensive Engineering Services Incorporated a consultant firm working with the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's public meeting is to share information about the proposed project and to provide time to answer questions with interested parties. There will be a brief overview of the project and afterward you are encouraged to view the exhibits and ask questions. If you did not receive a project information flyer previously in the mail, please feel free to take one from the sign-in table. This meeting is being held to afford all citizens the right to understand the project and comment on concerns to the Florida Department of Transportation. The meeting is being held to comply with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968 as amended. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI and or Title VIII may do so by contacting the FDOT District 5 Title VI and VIII Coordinator Jennifer Smith at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720 or the Florida Equal Opportunity Office at 605 Swanee Street, Room 260, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in an expeditious manner. For project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website was created by the Florida Department of Transportation to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. I encourage you to visit this website, which now contains hot links for easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the East Colonial Drive State Road 50 Roadway Widening Project. The limits of this project are along East Colonial Drive, State Road 50, from east of Avalon Park Boulevard or Pilgrim Street to east of Chuliota Road, County Road 419 or Columbia School Road. The proposed improvements for this project consist of widening East Colonial Drive, State Road 50, from a four-lane divided roadway to a six-lane divided roadway within the existing 200 feet of right-of-way. Other improvements include reconstructing the signal at Chuliota Road, County Road 419, or Columbia School Road, coordinating with links on bus stop locations, coordinating with Duke Energy for the installation of roadway lighting, Upgrading pedestrian features to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA requirements, the addition of bike lanes and sidewalks, and drainage improvements on both sides of State Road 50. The project will provide access management improvements which will reduce conflict points and crashes. Conflict points are defined as locations where vehicle paths can legally cross each other. A full median opening has 18 major and 10 minor conflict points. A one-way directional opening has 2 major and 4 minor conflict points. A two-way directional opening has 4 major and 8 minor conflict points. Finally, a full closure, right in, right out, has only 2 minor conflict points. East Colonial Drive, State Road 50, has an access classification 3. For Chapter 14-97 of the Florida Administrative Code, full median openings are to be spaced one-half mile or 2,640 feet apart, 
and directional median openings are spaced one-fourth mile or 1,320 feet apart. Median openings should not be placed in close proximity to signalized intersections. The proposed median openings are shown on the following slides and on the presentation boards. This is a graphical representation of the board which shows the beginning of the project limits from east of Avalon Park Boulevard, the proposed design, side streets, and existing business locations. This is a graphical representation of the board which shows the next segment of the project limits proposed design, side streets, and the existing business locations. This is a graphical representation of the board which shows the next segment of the project limits, proposed design, side streets, and the existing business locations. This is a graphical representation of the board which shows the end project limits, just east of Columbia School Road, the proposed design, side streets, and the existing business locations. The existing lane configuration along State Road 50 provides two 12-foot wide travel lanes and a 4-foot outside paved shoulder in each direction, separated by a 19.5-foot median. The first typical section for this segment of State Road 50 will begin east of Avalon Park Boulevard Pilgrim Street and go to just west of the park and ride facility. This typical section provides three 12 foot wide travel lanes, an inside six and a half foot paved shoulder, seven foot outside buffered bike lanes, and a five foot sidewalk in each direction. The overall median width for this typical section is 32 feet. The second typical section for this segment of State Road 50 will start just west of the Park and Ride Facility and end east of Chiliota Road, County Road 419, or Columbia High School Road. This typical section provides three 11-foot wide travel lanes, 7-foot outside buffered bike lanes, and a 5-foot sidewalk in each direction. The overall median width for this typical section is 32 feet. This project is designed to be beneficial to bicycle and pedestrian users. Seven-foot buffered bike lanes will be constructed adjacent to the curb, and five-foot sidewalks will be constructed offset from the curb. The reconstructed signal at Chiliota Road will feature ADA-compliant curb ramps with pedestrian signal. Bus stops will be coordinated with links. The drainage improvements will maintain the current drainage patterns while utilizing existing ponds for stormwater treatment. One new pond will be constructed on an existing FDOT-owned parcel. New inlets will be added to accommodate additional pavement area. No additional right-of-way will be required. The plans are on schedule to be completed in late summer of 2016. The design cost related to this project is approximately $2.7 million, and the current construction estimate is $16 million. The construction funding year is to be determined. There are three options if you would like to make a comment or have a question that will become part of the project file. The first is, if you are in attendance at this presentation, comment sheets are provided at the sign-in table. Please place your comment sheets in the box near the doorway. The second option is to take a comment sheet and mail it before December 15, 2015. The third option is to access the project link at www.cflroads.com website and click on the comment link. This concludes the presentation of the East Colonial Drive State Road 50 Roadway Widening Project. Thank you for your interest, and we appreciate you taking the time to attend tonight's public information meeting. For additional information, please contact Todd Alexander at 386-943-5420 or send an email to todd.alexander at dot state dot fl dot us. 
You can also contact Matthew Gibbs at 407-423-1600, extension 226, or email at mgibbs at cescivil.com. There will be one additional public meeting during the design phase of this project. Information about this meeting will be available on the CFL Roads website, by email and U.S. mail to those on the project mailing list, and in the Orlando Sentinel Orange County edition. This presentation will repeat in approximately one minute.